before you run away screaming. This isn't another fix it or fail video. I don't know how painful that last one was to watch. So we won't be doing that again. But this is my uh, Costway heated shoe and boot dryer. Uh, we're going to see what, why it died. I know why it died. It was a uh, neglect. I uh, had the I didn't use the diffuser and I had the shoes laid straight on top and it overheated it. So we're basically just going to poke around at the corpse. So let's get it apart. There's the top of it. Not a whole lot of light in here but Maybe it's brighter than it appears on the camera. Taking the screws out. I've had this thing, what, a couple of months? Now, granted, I did use it more of a industrial fashion. It only cost me $40. And it would probably still be running right, this, right now if I had used the diffuser as I ought to instead of uh, sticking the shoe straight on top of the tube. Anyway, let me see if I can get this button off and then get this thing apart. See, it literally says make sure to use brackets. Do not restrict airflow. And that's what I didn't do. And it overheated and burned it up. Not a whole lot to it. A little bit of cat hair. A very, very small heating element. Your basic hair dryer element uh, cheap little switch got a light bulb right there can't even take it out it's molded into the plastic but yeah you got uh, a switch a fan I'm assuming there's a fan somewhere in that housing and then uh, a hair dryer element this few more screws let's take them apart oh, that's the hole. it's so much easier with one hand I don't see why everybody doesn't do everything like this that probably wasn't an important part ah a third screw so there you have it An itty bitty squirrel cage blower that doesn't sound very good does it I wonder if it's yeah it's just making contact there anyway yeah squirrel cage blower and an itty bitty I mean it's even smaller than what you'd find in a hair dryer because the one in the hair dryer would be basically like this but about this long so that's a itty bitty little heat element and you can tell it's not it is not burnt but uh, I don't know if you can see this it might help if I had it in frame this part right here is most likely some sort of uh, control so when it gets too hot it opens up and doesn't carry the current or no this is to the motor All right, so what do we got here a fuse holder or just a plug let me use both hands here for a second it was a fuse holder but that wasn't our problem I don't know if you can see that probably can't yeah uh, but uh, yeah there's a it's not blown I guess is what I'm trying to get at so our problems more than likely that right there
the ticking sound is the uh, the timer. I have done a little bit more testing, and the cause of death was overheating, but uh, unusual. It didn't trip any thermal overload switches or anything like that. Any safety devices. That wasn't what caused it to stop. What happened was it got so hot this bracket bent right here that holds the motor and holds this fan. And this fan now drags and it drugs enough to overheat and trip. But uh, if you push back on that, the fan works fine. I've had it plugged up and that's the only thing that's wrong. If I somehow move this back just a hair, I could probably use this one again. What I'm going to attempt to do is uh, take these two screws out, lift this motor assembly up, and place two place two flat toothpicks uh, in that housing right there on that far side. See if I can't shim that side up. No idea if it's going to work. See him laying in there nice and neat. Alright. This is stupid. I don't have enough hands to hold the camera and this plastic housing and spin the spin the blade at the same time. But it is no longer dragging, so yeah. Well, I guess we can find out. Well, it's working. I think the English would call that a bodge. But, uh, yeah, I guess we fixed it. I was going to have to order another one of these, so you could say those toothpicks saved me $47 or something. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Man Mountain Link out. Thank you. Have a good night. Man Mountain Link has once again totally outdone himself.